Hey Toyota truck fans, today we are going to compare my 1985 Extra Cab 4x4 to a 2020 TRD Off-Road and see how far these trucks have evolved over 35 years. This new Tacoma TRD Off-Road belongs to Mike from the Oh Yeah About That YouTube channel. Check out his channel for a lot more videos and upgrades to this truck. I'll do my best to give a fair comparison of these two trucks, but I may be a little biased having owned eight of these 80s pickups so far. The first big difference is this 2020 has a four door double cab, while the 85 extra cab has a couple feet of space behind the driver's seat. There were double cab pickups built during this generation, but they weren't available in the US. In addition to the cab, the 2020 is larger in every dimension compared to the 85. The 2020 double cab comes with a 5 foot bed. The wheelbase is 127.4 inches and the overall length of 212.3 inches is the same across all 2020 Tacoma models, regardless of cab or bed options. The width of this TRD off-road model is 75.2 inches and height is 70.6 inches. The Axis cab is the modern equivalent of the 80s extra cab, but now with half size rear doors that open backward. The space behind the driver's seat is now large enough to accommodate fold down rear seating, but it's not as roomy as the back of the double cab. The Axis cab comes with a six foot bed versus the double cab's five foot bed. If you want the extra foot of cab space, you lose a foot of bed space. Toyota beds have come a long way in 35 years. This bed is steel, but the inner bed is fiber reinforced sheet molded composite with storage compartments, rail clamps, and a lockable and removable tailgate. This bed also has four adjustable tie down cleats and four fixed cargo bed tie down points. And there's even a 120 volt AC power outlet back there. My 1985 extra cab, which was only available with the standard six foot bed, has a wheelbase of 112 inches, 15 shorter than the 2020. The overall length of this pickup is 184 inches. That's 28 inches shorter than the 2020. The width is 66.5 and the stock height is 60.2. That's about nine inches narrower and 10 inches shorter than the height of the 2020 TRD off-road. 1985 standard cab seven foot long bed models shared the same long 112 inch wheelbase as the extra cab models. The standard cab six foot bed trucks had a shorter wheelbase of 103 inches. The last year that Toyota offered a standard cab on the Tacoma in the US was 2014. The smallest cab available now is the access cab. The 1985's standard bed is 60 by 76 inches with the long bed gaining the extra foot in length. The longest bed available on a new Tacoma is six feet. As far as the styling goes, I think both trucks look great for their era. I really like these headlights. This TRD off-road doesn't have all of the chrome that some of the Tacomas have, and I think that looks a little more rugged. Mike put a TRD Pro Grill on this truck, which in my opinion looks a lot better than the Oval T. My 85 has the base black plastic grill and black bumper. No chrome on this truck either. Which truck do you think looks better? Let me know why in the comments. The first thing you'll see when opening the door on the new Tacoma is how much thicker it is with integrated armrests, storage bins, speakers, and power controls. The door panel on the 85 is a quarter inch thick and made of vinyl covered particle board. My truck has crank windows and manual locks. To give you an idea of how much weight the doors gained over 35 years, just listen. It's like a slap versus a punch. There is one feature I miss on modern vehicles, and that is the optional vent windows. On a hot day with no AC, open this up and it blasts outside air right into your lap. It's not cold air, but it's better than no air. This truck had the optional air conditioning at one time, but it was removed by a previous owner. The 2020 comes standard with AC and 
dual climate control for driver and passenger as an extra option. Back to the windows for a second. This TRD off-road double cab has a power sliding rear window that opens at the touch of a button. And that's a genius idea because the optional sliding rear windows on the 80s pickups gets stiff as they age and they're not the easiest thing to open while driving. My 1985 came with a single DIN cassette player, which I upgraded to a CD player with USB for connecting a phone. There's a pair of four inch speakers in the dash and that's it. The new Tacomas come standard with a seven inch touchscreen with Apple, Android, and Alexa integration. There's also voice recognition, Bluetooth streaming, Sirius XM, and even Wi-Fi. Higher trim levels like this TRD Off-Road got an eight inch touchscreen with six speakers. Even higher trim levels got optional premium JBL speakers and navigation. Back in 85, we had road maps. They were made of paper, and when you unfold them, it took up like half of the cab. Luckily, Toyota had an optional map light for the pickups. But this truck didn't come with that. Just a dim dome light above the mirror. How did we ever survive? Check out this black plastic steering wheel in my 85. All you needed back then were horn buttons. The 2020 steering wheel is leather wrapped and loaded with controls, even an airbag with a nice chrome logo in the middle and a much louder horn. This TRD off-road has carpet and these heavy duty Tacoma branded floor mats. Back in the day, you had to pay extra to get such luxury items. My 85 has a vinyl floor covering, which is easy to clean when it gets muddy. This 2020 has a four door double cab with a full rear seat, while the 85 extra cab has just two feet of space behind the driver's seat, only good for a cargo shelf. The double cab does have a good amount of concealed storage. If you pull up the lower rear seat cushion, there's a storage bin underneath. And then behind the upper cushion, more hidden storage. And speaking of storage, the new Tacomas come with a nice center console that has plenty of room for storage inside. And there's a big cup holder right here with more storage in front of that. Then in front of the shifter, there's two more cup holders. Then in front of those, there's more storage with an integrated wireless charger. And of course, there's a glove box. Here's what I'm used to. No center console. They were only on the higher trim level trucks. No cup holders anywhere. Back in 85, you put your beverage in your lap and made sure you didn't swerve. There isn't any concealed storage anywhere besides the glove box. Although there is an ashtray that can be used as storage. There's a single den sized bin below the radio. There's also a little cubby hole on the dash to the left of the driver where controls for power mirrors would go on a truck with power options. I'll take all the storage I can get since I can just reach out the window and adjust the mirror with my hand. For charging, well, there's a 12 volt cigarette lighter next to the ashtray. Do any new vehicles even still come with cigarette lighters? And that loaded center console of the 2020 is a parking brake. In 1985, the park brake was located below the dash and you pulled it to engage and then turned it to release the brake. The seats are so 80s, although I gotta say the fabric has held up really well over 35 years. The only tear is in the vinyl section on the driver's side, and that's where most of them start to rip on these trucks. Also note, the driver's seat is all manual, no power adjustments here. Time will tell how the 2020 seats hold up, but they look very well made and have a good looking modern pattern with two tones of gray. And this driver's seat is power. In the 80s, you could go to the hardware store and get an extra key made for a couple of bucks. Which is good because after decades of use, these keys start to get rounded off, even to the point where they get so sloppy that they'll work on some other pickups. In 2020, you get a key fob, and you hope you don't lose it because they are not cheap to replace. But watch what it does. You don't even need to reach in your pocket to start your truck. And if that wasn't convenient enough, there's even a remote start. I'm in Ohio, so I can appreciate that.
Back in 85, a clock was a big deal. That's right, you had to pay extra for the optional quartz clock. A few things that these trucks do have in common. Tilt steering. Although this was optional for 85, I can't think of a vehicle that doesn't come standard with this nowadays. Manual adjustment on the passenger front seat. They both have inclinometers to let you know your truck's angle when off-roading. Although the one in my 85 is all mechanical with gears and weights inside, while the 2020 is a digital display built into the gauge cluster. Instead of going full digital on the speedo and tachometer like a lot of new vehicles, Toyota still uses good old needles in the 2020 Tacoma to let you know the truck's vitals. Just like they did in 1985. Except the tachometer was optional and this truck didn't come with one. Also, that speedometer is driven by a mechanical cable that connects to the transmission. This 2020 TRD Off-Road has Toyota's 2GR FKS engine. It's a 3.5 liter dual overhead cam 24 valve V6 with direct injection Atkinson cycle and it features VVTi W intake and VVTi exhaust. These features allow maximum efficiency based on given driving conditions and it makes great power too. 278 horsepower and 265 foot-pounds of torque. There's also a base 2TRFE 2.7 liter dual levered cam 16 valve four-cylinder engine with just VVTi and it makes 159 horsepower and 180 foot-pounds of torque. That's 119 horsepower less than the V6. Without all that tech, the four-cylinder only gains an extra two miles per gallon. Now let's look at the 1985 engine. The standard engine was this 22R 2.4 liter single overhead cam, eight valve, carbureted four cylinder, rated at just 97 horsepower and producing 128 foot pounds of torque. I know that seems like a joke in 2020, but that was not bad for 85. A full size Chevy Silverado of the same year with a 350 V8 only made something like 165 horsepower. The 80s were just a tough time for horsepower. If you wanted more power, there was the optional 22RE, which was pretty much the same engine, but fuel injected. It made 113 horsepower and 140 foot-pounds of torque. There was also a 2L diesel engine that made 83 horsepower and 122 foot-pounds of torque. A turbo diesel that was very rare in the US made 93 horsepower and 159 foot-pounds of torque. But yeah, that's right, this 2020 Tacoma makes almost three times as much horsepower as my 1985 pickup. The 2020 is also one and a half times heavier than the 85. This TRD off-road weighs in at 4,445 pounds, while the 1985's weight is about 2,800 pounds. Despite having a larger V6 and weighing more, this 2020 TRD off-road achieves better fuel economy of 18 city and 22 miles per gallon highway versus the 1985 at 17 city and 20 highway. Modern technology like variable valve timing, direct injection, and Atkinson cycle squeeze maximum efficiency out of this 3.5 liter V6 to the extent of classifying this 4x4 truck as a low emissions vehicle. The transmission is a six speed electronically controlled automatic with intelligence and it does allow manual shifting. A true six speed manual transmission is available only on TRD Pro and TRD Sport models. Four wheel drive engagement is electronic as well by this button and knob on the dash. Up here, you have controls for the optional electronic locking rear differential and the multi-train select and crawl control. The 1985 has a five-speed manual, but was also available with the four-speed automatic. Four-wheel drive is engaged mechanically by a shifter to the transfer case, and then the front hubs need to be locked manually. There was no locking diff available on this truck, but an ARB air locker has been added. The 2020 suspension consists of a coil spring, double wishbone, independent front suspension, and leaf springs in the rear. Mike's truck 
had the TRD tuned off-road suspension with Bilstein shocks, but that's been swapped for a 3-inch rough country lift when he fitted these larger wheels and tires. We'll look at those in a minute. The 1985 4x4 pickup used leaf springs on the front and rear axles, and this would be the last year for a solid front axle in North America. Starting in 1986, Toyota 4x4s came with independent front suspension. The 85 has a fully boxed frame, and we talked about the rust issues with that design in my 1985 Toyota pickup review video. The new Tacomas use a frame that is fully boxed on the front half and open C channel on the back half. Time will tell if this design helps reduce the frame rust issues that Toyota trucks experience in road salt states. One thing that both trucks do have in common are drum brakes on the rear. This 2020 TRD off-road came with 16-inch wheels wrapped in 265 70R16 tires. When Mike lifted this truck, he also upgraded to Fuel Blitz 17 by 9 inch wheels with 285 70R17 Nittos, which is between 22 and 33 inches tall. The 1985 pickup originally came with 15 by 6 inch steel wheels and 225 70R15 tires. I upgraded to 15 by 7 inch 4Runner alloys wrapped in 33 by 10 and a half inch all terrains. I also have a set of 15 by 8 inch Fuel Anza wheels with 35 by 12 and a half inch Dick CPEC mud tires. But I lose a few miles per gallon with those big heavy wheels, so I usually run the 33s for on road driving. The 22R isn't a fan of towing. I towed a 2,000 pound trailer one summer and it felt like that was about the max I put that old engine through. Now I tow about 1,100 pounds and that's less of a struggle, but I definitely still feel it. The owner's manual says the auto transmission can tow 2,000 pounds and the manual can handle 3,500 pounds. The 2020 TRD Off-Road has a 6,400 pound towing capacity and comes with a class 4 towing hitch receiver, auto transmission fluid cooler, engine oil cooler, power steering cooler, 130 amp alternator, 4 and 7 pin connector with converter, and trailer sway control. My 85 came with none of that. We're going to talk a lot about the 2020 here, so bear with me. This Tacoma has the standard projector beam headlights with optional LED daytime running lights and wide angle fog lights versus the 1985's sealed beam halogen headlights. The 2020 has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, smart stop technology, driver and passenger airbags, front seat mounted airbags, driver and front passenger knee airbags, front and rear roll sensing side curtain airbags, front active headrests, latch child seat anchors for front passenger seat on the access cab and outboard rear seats on the double cab, child protector rear door locks, tire pressure monitor system with optional individual tire location alert, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, hill start assist control, and rear parking assist sonar. In addition to that, it has a five star crash rating. Now let's look at the 85. It has, uh, seatbelts? IIHS didn't even conduct frontal crash tests until 1995. For 1985, safety features like a passenger side door mirror or a rear bumper were extra options, and this truck doesn't have them. The 2020 TRD Off-Road MSRP is $36,965. As equipped, this truck has a sticker price of $43,241. Unfortunately, the original window sticker for my 1985 is long gone, but the 4x4 Extra Cab sold for around 10 grand new. And that's $24,000 adjusted for inflation in 2020. So, which Toyota truck would you choose? The 1985 or the 2020? What if cost wasn't a factor? Let me know in the comments. Mike also uploaded a comparison video of these two trucks. 
I'll put a link in the description so you can see his take on these two trucks. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Yoda content as well as other project vehicles and how-to videos here at the 6th Gear Garage.